Hello, hello, this is Alex and welcome back to the AirTwin server. Yesterday I hit 600,000 views on my videos. 600,000 views! That's amazing to me. Thank you very much everyone for watching them and liking them if you do. Uh, I get around 200 views at the moment on my server videos here. Uh, and I have a little over 1,600 subscribers, so that's like 10-15% of my uh, subscribers actually watching my videos. So I, of course, wish, wished that would be a little bit higher, but I'm happy with you guys watching and liking the videos. Um, I also want to mention that I get a lot more views on my uh, server videos here, which is one of the reasons why I make these more often. And also, it's just more fun making uh, these videos compared to the videos in my single player world. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons. Uh, let's see, let's no go past this. I want to extend my hallway here and make it go up. Um, I don't really know where... See, I got this uh, ladder here that goes down to controls for my little mob farm down there. So I think I want to go maybe a few past this and then make uh, a thing that goes up and to the left and then back around so it's actually on top of my room in there maybe. Um, so, oh, that's not the plan. Um, so yeah, let's just do it here and go up somewhat. Um, so another thing I wanted to tell you is I am going on a holiday soon with my family so there might be a few days without videos and I hope you forgive me for that and don't abandon me uh, as a viewer. <laughs> I know sometimes when you take a break you suddenly lose a lot of viewers um, so yeah I just wanted to tell you that in advance. Oh and look at this over here Oh yeah, I fought another wither. I didn't want to record it because I've recorded so many of those recently. So um, I just put him in a hole down at diamond level like I used to and killed him there. And he actually uncovered some diamonds for me which was very nice of him. So I got the, the wither thing and 15 diamonds. So that was a good fight. Um, I think maybe go like this uh, yes maybe I dig a little on this and I show you what I got like my progress and such okay I shall be right back let me show you what I got so far uh, we started this here I continued up here I tried to turn in there and go further up but I hit the map room which is actually just below here I uh, just left this open so you could see and back here is, uh, this is the roof uh, of my, is there anything on this? Oh, oh yeah, you see this is my storage room thingy in here. So we're just above that now. And I just wanted to show you where this corridor I dug so far is in relation to the rest of the stuff. So I'm gonna fill this out. Yoink. And what I want to have up here is like a series of rooms, like offshoots to this corridor, I think, where I can build uh, farms and whatnot if I don't want to have them outside. So I think this is a pretty thick mountain and I should be able to put stuff in here. I tried continuing this way to see when I would break through. But then I measured like the coordinates here and went outside and yeah, there's still a ways to go that way so I just stopped. Because I think I want to make something maybe... So if you come up here... Uh, let's see, we got a three wide walkway there. So maybe we do that here, one, two, three. And we can have like an opening here. Okay, and I'm gonna dig out a room and we're gonna build something in it. Okay. I got a few rooms dug out here now. Uh, so 
up the stairs here and in here. First I have this big room where my farm is going to be. And back here is, I'm going to build a little timer circuit thingy. So to do that we need some of these guys. Let's see if I can, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's put it here and put that into that. So I looked up like different timer circuits and oh I'm gonna need some better blocks. Hang on. Okay, better blocks gotten. So I looked up this timer circuit um and it's actually not that complicated. Uh unless you forget your stuff. Dang it. Correct stuff has been gotten. So here I need these to point this way. These are comparators by the way. And I need two that goes down here and on top of these I'm gonna place a block there and a thing that goes into that and a thing that points into that. So this is going to be like uh, an RS knowledge that switches depending on the input. So on top of that we need two and then we put one block in here. Uh, let's just put a couple. No, yes one. So that's going to jump back and forth, right? Uh, and now I've got you know, redstone torches, which is not good. We need those. And on the back of these we can put uh, the output from this. So this is going to be the actual clock over here. So let's just put in like eight items. And they are not going because we need there and there. I think that should do it. So this is going to count down all the way. They go over to this one, they go back and forth. And depending on that, these are going to blink. So that one just went. Now this one is going to go after these eight have ticked back and forth. If we put, uh, if we take out like some more, this is going to change even faster. So you can have an output going from here, which is exactly what I need, like this. And it's going to blink once every time these switches over every time all of the mo uh, blocks move from one to the other. So if I put in lots of blocks in here, that's about a stack, it's gonna uh, blink on and turn on uh, at a few, well, what's it going to go? Oh, I can't speak. Uh, yeah, not so often, yes. English is my best. Okay, so now we need, to, 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 to see, I want to build a reed farm here. So we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have dirt blocks, which I do not have. Give me some dirt blocks. Yes, we're gonna put these around here, like so. And we can put. I don't have any cobble now. Give me some cobble. Put that below. We're gonna gonna see it. So for now, I'm just gonna do this. Put these all the way around. You go away. No, go away. Right. Okay, put down some more lights. And in front of these we're gonna have the dirt. That's gonna be a reed block here. And then let's see. Yeah, this should work. Uh and then up here we're gonna have like these. No. I wish there was a way to break these faster. Come on. <laughs> uh yes, so I'm going to put these all the way around and then I need to go behind and hook them all up with the redstone and that is what I need the clock for. So this is going to be as slow as I can possibly put it. So put in five stacks or something and then it's going to fire all of these pistons and push the items down into a water canal. I'm going to dig here. Uh, so yes, we need dirt here. Yes, take this out. Have water that goes this way around, I think. And put in some more lights. And then possibly push it <coughs> towards the center here. And via hopper put it into a chest. But I'm going to build a little more. And I'll show you once I've got a little more completed here. And of course I did it wrong because we need to have the water next to these uh, next to the dirt blocks where the reeds grow on top 
so I had to move it all down one. So I'm going to have it uh, like this. We're going to fire the pistons. Everything is going to fly like that way away. And then I'm going to put in some glass panes along, along here. So it's going to hit the glass panes, fall down into the water, get pushed all the way over here. Where I think I'm going to do something like this. And have it go down here somehow. Uh, so I, of course, have no water anymore. It's a good thing I'm within reach of the beacon because I got the too high jump, which helps a lot. And that is going to make a source block in there. <coughs> Excuse me. That is no good. Uh, okay. How am I going to do this? Maybe just like that. Yes, that should do it. And go down here. And figure out a way to put it into a chest somehow. So I'm going to get some glass panes. I'm going to dig out behind here. Because I need to power these pistons all the way around. Uh, and we need to cover this up somehow also so it looks good. So I'm going to continue here a little bit. And I should bring you right back. Better put some light in here so we don't get evil guys spawning. Okay, so I was messing around with kind of stained glass I should use. Uh, I had a lot of this. This is grey stained glass. I had a lot of this from earlier. So I think I'm going to use that for now. It also doesn't clash with any of the colors. Uh, it actually needs to be three high here. So we're going to put this all the way around. And when the pistons push out the sugar cane, it's going to hit this. And fall down into the water stream and go over here and get collected. So let's put up all this glass. Ah, get out. No. Nope. Okay. Okay, so I drew a line of redstone above the top piston. And that should hook up to that. I don't think that's oh. something just happened. Um okay. I think we need to like here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's just mm. uh See if we do this. Uh, does it go all the way? It does not. You can see the last piston over here is not extended. Oh, did I get a reed down here? I don't know if I got a reed. Where did it go? Is it there? Oh, it's there. Dang, sugar. Um, okay, so there's a dead spot there apparently. Or maybe it's a bug, I can't tell. Whatever. Uh, I'll fix that later. So I need to extend this somehow. Uh, yes. Maybe put a repeater up here somewhere. I can cover up this afterwards. So, no. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. At all. Uh, okay, let me fix this. So I've got it more or less hooked up now. By the way, if you want to turn this machine off, you put uh, just a block here next to one of the hoppers with a lever on. And then you stop this hopper from, you know, handing out items, or so to speak. So if I turn this on, this should there's 16 items in there now. So this should fire relatively quickly. There we go. Uh, we got a, a sugar cane fell down. It's going to go over there. And uh, yeah, there's these bugs, you know. Where the items just fly everywhere. Oh, and I just got pushed in myself. That's nice. Uh, and I don't know why they stop sometimes. I have no idea why this shouldn't happen. You know? Why is the item stopping in there? I have no idea. Uh, I can't do that. Let's see. If we can. What's this underneath here? Oh, that's a full block. Can I put that there? Will that make the thing flow? <laughs> Did not. Why is this a dead block in here? I am confused. Uh, okay. Well, I'll figure out the water s source or the water system here. 
Okay, let's turn this off because that is noisy. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but you see it's working, it's firing all the pistons, it's gonna fire one last time when it each reaches the end of the cycle. Did it reach? Yes it did, okay good. So the uh, this torch turns on for a brief second once all the items finish moving from one hopper to the other. It sends a signal up here on top of this I have... Oh, oh, I just got redstone uh, dust going out to so these two repeaters which go all the way along there and that's it that's all I did so I need to I also put in the glass all the way around uh, oh something did make its way over here okay so I'm gonna pretty this up a little bit and yeah let's take it from there I got a little more figured out here I haven't built this in advance I'm just winging it as, as I go um, so over here, this water stream, I figured out that if I place a block there, um, then items don't stop in the corner anymore. So it goes down and it follows all the way along and it goes back here. So let's put in some items here. Let's see what I did over here. Throw some in there. Will you go down? Uh, I think, yeah, it is in there. Okay, so down here the items come down this chute get picked up by the hopper the hopper is pointing into this dropper right here which is uh, pointing up into this dropper which is pointing up and out and right now there's nothing here to catch the stuff but when an item goes in there this clock turns on I don't actually know if I turn it on like this if it makes any difference I don't know uh, I don't know enough about these, but I don't think it's going to be a problem because it's only going to bring uh, a few of the I these items now and then, and it's going to shoot them when items come in here. It's going to shoot uh, the items into this one and then up into this one and so on and so forth. And I know maybe I should actually have this the other way around. I think so. If there's item in this one, it's going to I think that's better actually. So like this. Uh, okay. <gasps> no. Um, might I set, set back here? Redstone and water don't mix. Oh, all my redstone stuff is gone. Well, that's okay. Uh, so it's better to have this coming out, I think, and activating these. Uh, see over here I have oh no <gasps> that's the map room oh that's bad I need to get the map uh, oh it wasn't actually a map it was uh, okay that's good then I thought I pushed a map off the wall that was actually just uh, the trap door eh. okay and can I Okay, good. Let's get up there again. <laughs> Minor setback. So I need to figure out how to have this wrap around and activate this one. Hmm. I figured it out. Hooray! Uh, it didn't actually take that long, but on the other side of these I have the trapdoors. So uh, I have to reuse repeaters here. I made a little clock here. So when there's items in this one down here, let's put in a few items. This clock turns on and sends a pulse to this one, which activates these two, and it just shoots out out all of the items. Uh, shoots into that one, and that just shoots it out. So whenever items come in here, like the reeds, they're gonna be shot out of this and into a chest I'm gonna put here. So this is not the smallest or the most compact or anything like that, but I got it to work without having to ask anyone. And I am happy about that. So let's see. Uh, um, oh, this popped off. Oh, because I blocked the water. Shoot, all oh, dang it. And all kinds of bad words. Um, okay, remove the torch. Put a thing down there. Uh, yoink. And 
this one needs to go now, and we can put a thing there. Yeah. Uh, what the? I just got teleported through the glass, kinda. Okay. Uh, can I still move around? Yeah. Okay. So we can put a torch there. I just want some light in here. Okay. I got the smallest done now. I'm still missing the roof or the ceiling here. Uh, and the outer walls. I don't know what to do about these yet, but I haven't done the other walls either. So I'm going to leave that for now. I got this hooked up to the chest now. So, and I built uh, a little thing around here. Excuse me, a little hiccup. Uh, and I continued the glass over here. So when these sugar canes get pushed over towards me. They're gonna hit this glass and fall down. And I had a problem with this water block. You see the water doesn't want to flow over there naturally. But if you place a block there, see if I can hit it on the corner there, you force the water to go that way. And I can now remove that one. And the water goes past here. So even though I throw a block in there, it's gonna get pushed along. So let's turn this on again. Uh, let's see. Let's put a stack in there. Turn it on. It's going to take a little while. Uh, okay, so three. Yeah, you saw. I don't know if you saw, but if I throw in, uh, let's say, these four. I think. Are they actually? Yes, they're going to get pushed along all the way back here. And it's not even going to keep any items in here. It's going to make them all pass through. So in a second we're gonna hear. Oh, okay. So the the pistons just went because the timer got and the four redstone torches I threw in there uh, got all the way through the system and ended up in here. So now we're gonna get the sugar cane from the harvest just that just happened, and I can just put those in there. And this is not gonna produce much. I didn't want to make it big. Because I don't need a lot of sugar cane. I just wanted to have it, you know, running all the time when I'm in my base. And I can actually add some more to this, I think. Uh, that will help. Okay, so maybe if we put it over here, we can see if it will pick up all of that. So let's just take some of this. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that all went over there. I think it will work with just adding more stuff here. It's going to empty both of them before it goes. Uh, this should be right, bright enough in here. I put in a door here. Got this little walkway to get to the control room or what you're going to call it back there. But yeah, I think this is nice. It's uh, small and sufficient for the size it is, I think. Uh, and the only thing I have to look up is actually this clock here or this uh, timer. It's a timer. Oh yeah, so they did go from that to this one. Okay, so that's good. Um, I can just add more stuff to that. So let's just do that. So they have some time to grow, actually. Okay, so... Yeah, that should be okay. I am done with this room now, except when I finish that, I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun building this. Let's see. Eh. There we go. <laughs> Just to have it ticking. Come on. Are you gonna go? Go over there. Go, go, go. And... Come on. Where's the ticking? Oh, there's a torch under there. That's no good. You see the particle effects coming through the block? I should move that. Maybe I will. Oh, it's coming in, and I don't even hear the ticking. That's weird. Oh, well. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will end this episode here, and I will see you all next time. Bye.